Hey, y'all. Hey, listen. Okay, here it is. My husband's conservative and I am liberal. Would you date and or marry someone from a different political point of view? Well, the reason why I'm asking this question, my husband and I were talking today and he said that he happened to see a video. I don't know if it's TikTok or YouTube of a woman who's a single woman, black woman, who I guess she shares her insights about, you know, her dating or whatever. And that she met a man and things were going well and she was excited about it. But once she found out he was conservative, I guess she decided to break up with him. And she was all too excited to tell everybody on social media that she broke up with him because he was a different political affiliation. Well, my answer to that or my point of view is this. Don't be no damn fool. <laughs> Don't be no fool. Okay. So I was reminded, you know, when I first started dating Mr. Randolph, you know, when we started to get to know each other and stuff, and maybe it's different because we were at a different point of our li- in our lives, we, um, we didn't talk about politics really. So I was getting to know him. He was getting to know me. I like what kind of person he was. He was very kind to me, very thoughtful, et cetera, et cetera. And then we ultimately started having political conversations and we had very different views on many different things. And once we got to a point that we thought we were going to be serious and take it to the next level, we agreed, we vowed that we would not allow what was going on in the White House and Congress to affect what was going on in our relationship. Well, some of you may say, well, that's impossible. That's impossible. How can you do that? And and like I said, maybe it has something to do with, you know, the point that we are in our life. But I guess I will say this. I'm more moderate Okay, because there are some things I lean more liberally on and some things I'm more conservative. So I guess I'd be in the middle. Well, my husband is pretty much a conservative. But when I thought about it, I was reminded of this couple because some people say there's absolutely no way that that would work. Well, I beg to differ. And I'm if you don't believe me, I want you to look up Mary Madeline and James Carville. Mary Mag- Madeline is a Republican political strategist, and her husband James Carville is a Democratic political strat- a Democratic political strategist. Okay, they've been married since 1993. Have two children. I remember in the early, maybe early 90s, mid 90s, or something like that. They would be on these various shows, def- definitely talking about their varying political views. But I would imagine. They probably made the same commitment to each other that me and Mr. Randolph made is that no matter what was going on outside of our home was not going to affect what was going on inside of our home. Each of us have one vote and we vote our conscience. Well, some of you may say, well, that's impossible because, again, that the way that they view uh, human rights would differ in the way they uh, want to view uh, raising children. Well, that's possible. But again, it goes to, like I said, we were at a different point in our lives, but they had children together. But I will tell you this, though. For those of you who want to argue that if you consider being with someone who has a different political viewpoint than yourself, I am reminded of several relationships I had where my love interest was of the same political viewpoint and treated me like shit. Treated me like shit, I say. So, had the same ideals of raising kids, ideals of, you know, human rights. and But when it came to how to engage and interact and treat me, treated me like shit. Mr. Randolph, conservative, there's some things. We've had some spirited conversations And I remember when some of my friends first, when we started dating and my beloved Sheila Jean found out that he was a conservative and that he was voting for who he was voting for. She's like, she was kind of taken aback, like, you know, looking at him side eyes, but came to love her brother, as she called him, as she called him junior because he's a junior. And he loved her. So I say this to say, ladies, don't be no damn fool. And for all accounts from what, what my husband shared in the video, the woman said he was nice. He treated her well. They were, they were vibing, as you all say. 
But because of that, not digging any further. Like I said, me and my husband had some very spirited debates. Ain't no cussing each other out. Ain't none of that. Some things we agree on. Some things we staunchly disagree. But one thing we agree on. We love each other. We respect each other. And that man... I've never had anyone that treat me as good and love me and as protected, uh, protective of me as that man right there. So what kind of fool will I have been to eliminate him because he is more conservative on political views than me? Those are my thoughts. What are yours? Take that.